The future for wave energy is potentially limitless. And while it's understandable to think that the generation of electricity from wave energy is something that works best in rough seas, such as the North Atlantic or the coast of the northwestern United States, there's also strong potential for the use of wave energy generators in much less energetic environments throughout the world. Here we see the Azura, a wave energy prototype being prepared for deployment to the US Navy's wave energy test site, located in Hawaii near Kaneohe Bay, Oahu, for testing through spring 2016. being developed by four independent companies whose projects have been approved and are supported by the U.S. Department of Energy and the U.S. Navy. The Hawaii Natural Energy Institute is responsible to the sponsors for data collection, analysis and reporting as a means of independently evaluating the technology's performance. HNEI is also carrying out environmental monitoring to assess potential impacts these devices may have on the environments where they're deployed. Four of the planned five devices are what are called point absorbers, which are essentially an ocean buoy designed to move around in the waves, and the different companies have different approaches to converting that movement into electrical generation. The Azura device is a pair of vertical spars with a large heavy heave plate at the bottom underwater, and then a, a float that extends between the two vertical spars and moves with the waves and converts that movement to electricity. Here at the U.S. Navy's Wave Energy Test Site, known as WETS, the research will be used in ongoing efforts to advance the marine renewable energy industry. At present, it's still very difficult to capture wave energy and convert it into electricity in a way that is commercially competitive with other renewables or with fossil fuels. However, population and energy demand around coastlines are both very high worldwide and the wave resource is enormous, making wave energy technology an attractive long-term proposition. Ultimately, the idea for a commercial future for wave energy would be arrays of devices, not single devices like will be tested here at a scale of, say, 500 kilowatts or a megawatt, but lots of them. Um, that's the way we're going to get toward commercialization of wave energy is deploying it in scale. WETS is the only grid-connected wave energy test site in the United States and one of only a few in the entire world. The world's eyes are really on this test site and the results that we will produce here over the next few years. So it's, it's really, it's fun to be part of it. 